Hello mates, hope you are having a wonderful day. I am Devan Shagwal and you are watching Knowledge Overflow. Today we are not going to talk about any master's course, any data science course or any bachelor's course. Today I will be talking with you about how to convert your grade to equivalent Bavarian grade. So this video is going to be short and in this video I will just be telling you about how to convert your grade. Even if you don't have any calculator, there are calculators but there is a formula. I will be explaining it in a while. People say that the Bavarian conversion formula is pretty confusing. They follow a different approach towards the grades and all and it's kind of a black box but it isn't. In this video we will be opening that black box and try to see what happens. So this is the website of TUM, Technical University of Munich and they have given a calculator, a very simple calculator to use for you and you can convert your grades here from any grade system be it in India, be it in Pakistan, Bangladesh or any country in Africa or anywhere perhaps. All you need to do is to provide the maximum grade, the minimum grade and your grade. So this is the way you can convert your grade to a corresponding Bavarian grade and uh, here is the conversion tool if I go into this and uh, let's just pass some input. So at my university the grade is maximum grade is 10 and the minimum passing criteria is 5 that is 50% essentially and uh, overall grade at my university it was 8.96 in my case so I just converted and you can see it has given me an input of 1.6 so what does 1.6 mean so they have uh, what grades are assigned at TUM it's not just about TUM it's about most of the universities in Germany altogether so what does the legend say? So 1.0 to 1.5 means very good. That is excellent performance. 1.6 to 2.5 is good. That is performance well above average. 2.6 to 3.5 is satisfactory. That is average performance. 3.6 to 4 is sufficient. That means performance meets the standards in spite of deficiencies. And 4.1 and above basically means fail so you need to make sure that what is the minimum passing criteria in your university here in my case it is 1.6 and according to them i lie in the second bracket that is good performance well above average this kind of seems like a black box isn't it so let's just go to what wikipedia says about bavarian grade formula so this is called the modified bavarian formula and it is followed by most of the universities in germany here they have written that uh, the most of the universities in North Rhine, Westphalia and Bavaria but most of the German universities today are using this formula because this is one of the most robust formulas that they have come up with. So this is the formula you can see here. So this is a bit of a math but I will decode it for you. So it goes on like n max minus nd upon n max minus n min times 3 plus 1. n max is the best possible score in foreign countries grading system. So suppose you are in India and you have a maximum GPA of 10. So N max would be 10 in your case. N min would be the lowest passing score in foreign grading system. In my case, it was 5, right? N min would be 5. And ND is the obtained foreign grade, which has to be converted into the German grade. So in my case, it was 8.96. If we plug in all these values into this formula, you will come out to be 1.62 to be exact. I calculated it. 1.623333, I guess this was the number. So this is how you can uh, leverage the modified Bavarian formula and uh, there is no black box in it, right? So you can go check this formula out and uh, calculate your GPA. Even if you are so lazy to calculate it on your own, go to this TUM website. I will pass this uh, link into the video description and you can have a look. Another caveat I found is some universities do provide the marks in terms of letter grades that is A, B, C. In that case what you have to do is suppose you have a grading system called A plus A, B, C, D and E that is essentially fail. So A plus is the highest possible grade so you need to assign it to 1, A equals to 2, B equals to 3 and similar goes like until E equals 6. And finally, what you have to do is to, in the conversion tool, you enter 1 as the maximum grade that is corresponding to A plus and 5 as the minimum passing grade. And the value for the current uh, overall grade, you have to put in whatever the grade you have got. And this will convert your letter grades to the equivalent Bavarian grade. And this is how you can also convert your letter grades to uh, equivalent modified Bavarian formula grade as well. So that was all about this video. I hope you liked this video and you would be having a much better knowledge on how you can convert your grades to the equivalent German grades. You can use this calculator that I can provide you with or you can use the formula that I gave you through the Wikipedia. 
I'll come up with some more data science courses in the next videos. Until then, au revoir.